Hey, what's going on guys? Flufe here, and today I'm back to school, and I'm back on Skywars. So I've actually just gotten back to school like 10 days ago, and I will say that I am super duper exhausted. Like, I was not prepared going into 10th grade, you know? Which is strange, because 9th grade went pretty, you know, smoothly on my whole, like, sleep schedule. Like, more than I thought it would. But this year's just been tough. Like, I've pretty much, like, every time I get home... Okay, <laughs> I was just making sure that guy wasn't gonna kill me. Basically, every time I get home, I, like, want to die. Oh, <laughs> uh, no! Oh, that's a, that's a watchdog thing. But yeah, school's coming back, and it's just been, like, not an easy adjustment for me. Like, you know, it's taken me way longer than it usually does to just adjust to the whole thing. Oh, come on! Get out of here! Get out of here, boy! Whoa, what the heck? How did I even get there? <laughs> Today's, like, my sixth day of school, by the way, and... Yeah, I started very late, like, later than most schools, but, like, at least this day, I didn't pretty much pass out as soon as I got home. Like, I didn't actually fall asleep when I got home, like, I was just burnt out when I got home and wanted to. Because with how few hours are in your day at this point, it's like, you know, I can't spend all my day sleeping. Like, I can't waste my whole day, especially with the workload, which has been considerably bigger than it usually is. So it's like... How am I supposed to manage? Oh, what the? But yesterday, I actually got in trouble and I had to go to the principal's office. Uh, the whole thing was a real misunderstanding. I mean, you're hearing it from me, so you're getting a biased point of view, but... I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> However, I was a bit concerned because... People, I, I believe people would think I did something wrong. And it was me and a few other kids got in trouble, you know, uh, for laughing during an... A harassment, intimidation, and bullying presentation, which A, I didn't even do, and B, that's not what the people that were laughing were laughing at. So it's like, you know, you're getting people in trouble for nothing really. I understand they should be paying attention, and they were trying their hardest to pay attention, and you could clearly see that, you know, from our points of view, but I guess that not everyone really saw it that way. And, you know, our vice principal who did it, this whole thing to us, like, he was like, go down to the like my office, get these three idiots out of here, it was his exact quote. It was, like, pretty, pretty aggressive. He's, like, the scariest teacher in, like, the whole school, but, like, you know, I actually somehow wasn't scared. Yeah, I don't really know how to say it. Like, I just wasn't really. I didn't think that... I, just, I felt like this wasn't gonna be... Ooh, uh, this is bad. Like, I felt like I wasn't going to get punished too harshly, and that, you know, he would know that the whole thing's a misunderstanding. And I'm not explaining this whole thing correctly, you know, I'm not even saying the, the whole story. I remember my vice principal literally said, you guys were, like, poking each other and giggling, when, like, the three of us actually didn't interact at all during his entire presentation. And I made sure he knew that. I was like, hey, let me set the record straight here. We didn't talk to each other at all, and apparently me doing that like, word about that got around, apparently, because I had heard people saying, like, wow, this man has the balls. Oh, jeez, don't do that. It's like, yeah. I felt pretty proud of myself, like, the day after. The day before, I was like, come on, I gotta write an apology to my gym teacher who, like, I don't even think needs an apology. I think it's more so the, jeez, it's more so, if anyone, the vice principal needed the apology, but, because it wasn't, it was his presentation, you know. Oh. So yeah, I was pretty stressed out about the whole thing, like, after it happened. Not really during it. I was like, hey, he's probably not gonna get us in too much trouble, because I think we aren't really too much in the wrong here. Like, we did a little bit, but I don't think it's enough to really, I don't know, suspend us? And obviously we weren't gonna get suspended for just, you know, getting distracted during a presentation. Like, I remember the first kid started laughing, and it's like, I think when one person starts laughing, it just kind of spreads at some point. It's like, kind of gives off this illusion that something's funny even when it isn't and I didn't even know what was going on like I'm gonna be completely honest here I didn't laugh at all <laughs> I uh 
did a hard smile though, and I made sure not to because I was trying to pay attention. That's the type of person I am. I'm not gonna disturb the class. I never get in trouble, you know. What the heck? What did I did? What did I just do? Lol. <laughs> Oh my god, it actually, I got the regen, yo! Oh, I can pearl out of this if I need to. And this is, looks like a need to situation here. Oh. I'm not making that. Wait, he's got pearls too? Oh, did I get him? Yo, I think I got him! It, oh my god, that was clutch! Yo, let's go boys! Anyways, that's been my life for the past few days. Just pretty much dealing with this whole giant thing that's been going on. But, hey, it's all over now. I mean, yesterday I was pretty frustrated. Today, not as frustrated. In fact, to be completely honest, out of the whole thing, I think I gained more than I lost. Because, you know, people were like, you stood up to the, pretty much the scariest person in our school. And, you know, defended yourself and everyone else that was really affected by the whole thing. So, you know, that's what I'm feeling good about, you know? That's good. Oh, come on! Um, there's like five people here. So let's get out of this. Let's take this route. Oh, of course. Nope, dipping out of this. Shoot the live streamer! He said he was live streaming! No, get him out, get him out, get him out. Oh, I got him. <laughs> that I didn't expect to. The last one's right here. How did I win that? <laughs> now that that whole story's, you know, done and out of the way, I guess I'd like to say welcome to uh, any new subscribers coming from Quixotic 2. Because that just kind of finished uploading yesterday when I'm recording this. Cause it's it's the 14th, finish uploading on the 13th. I don't know when this is being uploaded, probably in like a week, but you know, it's pretty cool, you know. It's kind of like, hey, some UHC people are actually noticing who you are, what? Owie! Hi guys, my name is Fluffy. welcome to my channel. Here I may upload Minecraft videos. Quite often they uh, consist of stuff like this, where a man just throws snowballs at thin air for like 60 seconds. Hope you guys enjoy the next time. Oh, hey, he's, oh, he's moving! Get that out of here! You get that out of here! Ow, the bleh. All right, GG. Anyway, that's it for me. As you can see, on the right, I went from 30,000 to 31,000. I don't even know if I covered that in this video, but I've attempted this like 9,000 times, and this is the only passable attempt, so hey, let's go. <laughs> All right, well, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.